Jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, hi, Mullet. Jing uh, are you okay? You look a little bit sad and worried, but it's Christmas time. Aren't you happy? Oh, hi, Auntie Karen. Hi, kids. Yeah, I'm a bit worried and sad because I don't think I'm going to get any presents this Christmas. <laughs> Why, Mullet? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, Auntie Karen, it's because I did something really bad last week. Oh. I stole a bit of my brother's Christmas lollies. Oh. And my mum and dad found out and I got in trouble. Oh, that doesn't sound good, Mullet. But were you sorry for what you'd done? Did they forgive you? Did you give the lollies back? Yeah, I'm very sorry for what I did. I gave the lolly... Well, I gave the ones that were left back, but I gave him some of mine. Well, I'm sure they forgave you, didn't they? Why are you still worried? Well, you know the, you know the, this, this song? Santa uh, Claus is coming to town. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I know that says, song. He sees you when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. He knows when you're away. <gasps> he knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. I oh. haven't been good, Honey Karen. I'm, I'm worried that I won't get any presents this year because I haven't been good. Only good kids get presents, right? Well, it might be true that you haven't been good, but do you think the real Christmas is a bit different to that song? You mean that Christmas is is more than Santa? Well, yeah, I know that because Christmas is it's about Jesus. Yeah, Christmas is about Jesus. And so do you think Jesus might be a little bit different to Santa Claus when it comes to giving gifts and being generous with us? Hmm. Yeah, I never really thought about that. Huh? What do you mean, Nanny Karen? Well, the Bible tells us that God has been so generous to all of us by giving us the best gift of all, and that is Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Jesus is God's bestest, bestest gift because Jesus came and he died and he rose again to give us the gift of being friends with God forever. And that's what we remember at Christmas, isn't it? But do you think that Jesus only gives this wonderful gift to people who are good? Oh, yeah. no, no. He doesn't just give to people who have been good. Mullet and kids, let me share a very special verse from the Bible. It says in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 mm. that God shows us his own special love in this. While we were still sinners, while we were bad, Jesus died for us. It means that Jesus came to die for Bad people who need him, not good people. Oh, that's right. Jesus died so bad people who trust in him can be forgiven and be friends with him, no matter what they've done. That's right, Mullet. Jesus is so different to Santa. Oh, he sure is. Isn't that fantastic? He knows that we've all done the wrong thing. We all need him to forgive us. And he loves us no matter what we've done wrong. And because he is so loving and so generous, he gives us the best gift of being friends with Jesus, no matter what we've done. Well, that is the best news ever, isn't it, kids? Because that means that Jesus is so different to Santa. Santa only gives gifts to good kids. Jesus gives the best gift to anyone, no matter what they've done. And you know what that means, Mullet? <gasps> Do you think it means I might still get <laughs> presents this Christmas? I'm sure that your mum and dad know that giving gifts at Christmas, we're to be more like Jesus, not like Santa. Yeah. We give gifts even if we haven't been good all year. We just want to be generous to remember God's best gift to us in Jesus. Oh, hooray for <laughs> presents and mostly hooray for Jesus who shows us that God is all about giving to those who've been bad because he loves us so much. Isn't our God wonderful? He sure is. Let's celebrate him this Christmas and let's sing a song about Jesus, yeah. the King of Christmas. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas, Annie Karen. Merry Christmas. Yeah.